In this tutorial, I'll show you how to remove noise, deal with loud breaths, and remove echo from podcast episodes. This coming Black Friday, I'm opening my first ever podcast production course up to beta testers only for the Black Friday to Cyber Monday weekend. If you're interested, you want to get in early, head over to mrc.fm slash learn now. And if you're watching in the future, join in with the course right now at mrc.fm slash learn. Okay, uh, I'm looking at a couple of episodes here. First of all, this noisy one that was recorded on an expo floor. Let me get rid of the metadata panel and really zoom in on this audio, on this waveform and have a listen to a bit of this. Businesses. Yeah. And today I'm gonna share with them 10 specific things that will blow their house down because my whole intent trade now, the first thing you'll notice here is that this episode has actually been provided really compressed already. This introduces a, a new challenge uh, simply for the reason that uh, we have a compressed piece of audio that has a lot of noise in the background. Well, thankfully, the first thing we can do with this audio is use Adobe Audition Denoise. It's a magic machine learning algorithm that finds the noisy bits, takes them away and finds the voice and keeps it. Uh, so I'm going to go into effects menu. I'm going to go into noise reduction restoration, straight into denoise and businesses. Yeah. And today I'm going to share it immediately. It's sounding better. Businesses. Yeah. And today I'm let's find out the noise that it's removing by outputting the noise only. So definitely you can hear the expo floor there in the background. Businesses. Yeah. And today I'm going to share it. And if you want to kind of tweak this tool, obviously I can push this up to 100%. Businesses. Yeah. And today I'm going to share with them 10 specific... And that's now really focused in on the voice, so no more background noise from the expo floor. But I can also go through this processing focus here, and uh, I can tell the denoise effect to focus only on specific frequencies. So only the low end, if we know there's a lot of low end, only the mid range, only the lower and higher frequencies, those kind of low boomy frequencies and the high hissy frequencies, or simply the high end, and really this is good for processing tapes and cassette recordings, removing that high end that you get included. But we can go through and have a listen. So businesses, yeah. and today I'm businesses, yeah. and today I'm businesses, yeah. and today I'm going to share with them ten specific things that will blow their house down. Because my whole intent, Tracy, is I okay. And the the best one there I was listening as I was going through was focusing on low and high end. So we're removing out that low and high end. We're focusing on keeping the voice intact sounds pretty good now i'm going to move this slider down uh, to an amount that keeps the voice sounding as good as it can without any digital loss uh, but removes most of the background noise businesses yeah. and today i'm going to share with them 10 specific things that will blow their house down because my whole intent okay now we'll go off and on quickly businesses yeah. and today i'm going to share with them 10 specific things that will blow their house down because Next thing I'm going to do is go into effects and I'm going to add a slight amount of de-reverb as well because obviously it's an echoey expo floor. Businesses. Yeah. And today I'm going to share with them 10 specific things that will blow their house down because my whole intent, Tracy, is I... Okay, that's fine. Now, the final thing that I would add to this particular podcast episode uh, is the fact that it has been super compressed. And what's it done? It's, uh, it's pulled all the breaths out. So we got... <gasps> Like that, let's listen again. Businesses. Yeah. And today I'm going to share with them 10 specific things that will blow their house down. Because so you can see, it's been really compressed, really brought up in the mix, and it doesn't sound good. It's pretty annoying, actually. So into effects, into uh, our plugins, and this is something from Waves. It's called Deep Breath. Uh, you can go and buy this plugin at mrc.fm slash waves. Highly recommend it. So let's um, set this back to normal and see how it works on the default settings. Usually it's pretty good. Businesses. Yeah. And today I'm going to share with them 10 specific things that will blow their house down. Because Now, as you can see here in the real time slider, it has recognized the breaths, but it's not acting on them. Businesses. Yeah. And today I'm going to. So every time a little spike goes above this line, it's recognized the breath. Why is that not working? We need to tweak the dials here to get it to kick in and get that orange reduction to light up. Businesses. Yeah. And today I'm going to share with them 10 specific things that will blow their house down because my still not kicking in businesses yeah. and today i'm going to share so a bit more businesses and today i'm oh, going to share with them 10 specific things that will blow their house down because still not kicking in on the second breath businesses and today i'm going to share with them 10 specific things that will blow their house down because my okay now it's removed the breaths. you can see the white highlights but doesn't sound good because it sounds just like we've chopped the audio out where the breaths are uh, so the next thing once we've uh, set waves deep breath up correctly to 
uh, remove those breaths. We don't want to remove them. We just want to reduce them in amplitude. So we kind of do the inverse of what the compression has done to the voice. Uh, so we'll use this slider over here, the reduction slider, and we'll push this right up and we'll start with a reduction of minus 10 dB. See how that sounds. Businesses. Yeah. And today I'm going to share... Okay, that, that's already a million times better. Let's look at the preview window here uh, and we'll go to mirrored so we can really see what's going on. So you can see already here and here where the breaths are, they have been reduced in amplitude. We could probably go down further. Businesses. Yeah. And today I'm going to share with them 10 specific things that will blow their house down because my... Okay, I think we could even go further. Businesses. Yeah. And today I'm going to share with them 10 specific things that will blow their house down because my whole... There we go. And apply. And I'm just going to copy that into a new file. I'm going to uh, paste this podcast. Let's, uh, let's grab that uh, little bit of processed audio. Paste that over here. If it will actually copy, copy and paste into here. It's not pasting for some reason. Let's paste to new. There we go. It's pasting to a new file. Good. Then I'm going to undo everything that I've done to uh, make this podcast sound better using uh, some of the fantastic noise reduction restoration tools, deep breath as well from Waves, and we'll listen to a before and after. So here's the before, and then straight afterwards, we'll listen to the after. Businesses, yeah. And today I'm going to share with them 10 specific things that will blow their house down, because my whole intent, Tracy, is I businesses. Yeah. And today I'm going to share with them 10 specific things that will blow their house down, because my whole intent, Tracy... So using toys, uh, toys, I call them toys... Toys or tools, depending on your pleasure in uh, podcast production, uh, like denoise, like de reverb, and like de breath, which comes from Waves. You can get that one at mrc.fm slash waves. You can really make a podcast episode sound a lot better. If you'd like to learn even more about podcast production, I highly encourage you to join in with my podcast production course over at mrc.fm slash learn. 